Number five, raising taxes and spending more money than you have is the best way and the smartest way to run the country. If we took all the money from everyone in America who made over $250,000, we couldn't run the country two years. But for some insane reason, insane politicians and insane people think that if you force people to pay more taxes and even more taxes, this will give people more money to spend and create more jobs. How can any sane person think that if you take away the money from someone, they will have more money and create more jobs. How can any sane person or country spend five times as much money as that makes and then get mad when someone dares to tell them to stop spending and cut expenses? How can a government that refuses to only spend the money it takes in from taxes continue to exist and grow? It is insane. But every day you will hear congressmen and senators and the president himself telling us we need to spend more money and raise more taxes. It's insane. Number six, why the earth is so fragile and we're destroying it. That's insane. The earth will be here millions of years after you're dead and was here millions of years before you were alive. We're not destroying the earth. It is not getting hotter because of greenhouse gases. It's getting colder. We have ice ages through the millenniums, not heat ages. The truth about global warming being reported was proven to be a lie. But the press and insane people refuse to believe it. In the middle of the coldest winter in a hundred years, the global warming idiots tell us that it's getting hotter. Go outside the next time it's 30 degrees below zero and start your car and let the motor run all day to heat up the earth. Let's see if that works. Insane? Yes, but millions of people believe it. Number seven. We have to stop drilling for oil. We have to stop mining coal and forget nuclear energy. At the same time, we have to pay Brazil to drill for our oil in the Gulf of Mexico. And we cannot allow our U.S. companies to drill there. We have to import oil by the billions of barrels because we refuse to drill for it ourselves in our own country. When we have the largest reserve of oil in the world, a reserve that is five times larger than all the oil in the rest of the world combined, but we can't use it. We can't continue to drill for coal or mine for coal, and we can't use nuclear energy. In fact, we should all be walking and riding bikes while singing folk songs and smoking weed. It's insane to import oil when we have trillions of barrels waiting for us to tap. Insane, but public policy. Number six, guns are the reason for all the crime in America. Take away the guns from the citizens and you'll have no more crime. <clears throat> Insanity at its best. The most dangerous place in America is inside a prison where there are no guns allowed, but where every day people get killed with everything from toothbrushes to spoons. Take away the guns from law-abiding citizens and only the criminals will have them. Guns don't kill people. People kill people. And most of the time, people killing people are insane on drugs or drunk. It's illegal to own a gun in Washington, D.C., and yet it has some of the worst gun crimes in America. Only an insane person would refuse to believe the facts that if you had more innocent, law-abiding people carrying concealed weapons, you would have less crime. If the teachers and students who are regularly killed in mass murder incidents at schools by some insane person had a weapon on them and were able to defend themselves, these mass murders would not happen. Yes, the world would be a better place if no one had any weapons, but that's not possible and will never happen. And only an insane person thinks that if you take away all the weapons from all the law-abiding people, the bad guys will just throw away their guns and everyone will sing and dance. The mass murders of innocent people in Africa, Europe, Asia, and South America are only possible because the innocent people have no way to defend themselves or their families. Number nine, America is evil and not the greatest country in the history of the world. Why Russia, China, Argentina, Cuba, Libya, North Korea, 
They're much better places to live. America doesn't deserve its prosperity. It should be punished by Mother Earth. Not by God, because insane people don't believe in God. This is just insane. It's so wrong. It is pitiful and horrible. America is a shining beacon of liberty, justice, and opportunity for all the world. It is great because it was founded under Christian principles by great Christian men and women. It has done more to make more people healthy, safe, secure than any country in the history of the world. It protects all its citizens, feeds all its people, tries to educate all its people, and gives everyone equal justice regardless of sex, age, race, or income. No other country in the world even comes close to the greatness of America and the great things America has done for the world and for its people. Yes, we have our faults, but our faults disappear completely compared to the great crime, disease, destruction, and death of millions, no billions of people throughout the ages by other countries. You simply have to be insane to think that America is not the greatest country in the world, yet millions Every day, millions of American school children are taught that America is not the greatest country in the world. And even our president goes around apologizing for America. Apologizing to dictators and thugs who regularly kill hundreds of thousands of innocent people. It's insane. Number ten. And this might be the best one. You can and should get all of your important information about life, religion, sex, drugs, war, and government from TV cartoons and comedy shows. The Simpsons, South Park, and Family Guy know what is good and decent and you should follow their advice on everything from sexual morality to drugs to religion to school and politics. The Daily Show, The View, and Oprah they know what's true and right about everything from sex to war to murder to drugs. The broadcast and print media are not liberal and full of lies and distortions and glorification of sex, drugs, and whores. If we would only worship Mother Earth and not God or Jesus, if we would only support more taxation, more sexual promiscuity and perversion, if we would only let Hollywood stars tell us how to live our lives, we would be so much better off. Everything would be fine if Oprah made all the rules and if Obama could only be allowed to finish what he started and promised to make America a total socialist country. If only we would let the peaceful Muslims take over all of Africa and Asia, the world would be a much safer and better place. If we would only do these insane things, and if we could convince more people to join us in our insanity, why everything would be perfect. Perfectly insane. So there you have it. Ten things you have to be insane to believe are just a liberal who doesn't have a clue. Read them and watch them and weep. This is Ted Gambardella. I'll see you next time.